had to pop in here really quick and say happy new happy new year to all my subscribers happy new year to all my supporters happy new, happy new year, year to everybody thanks for all the love and support you guys show me on a daily i appreciate it i appreciate it it's hot out here it's hot out here for a girl in these streets especially in these youtube youtube streets doing what i do so without further ado let's get into Excuse it excuse the shakiness i'm actually videoing my phone but recently i saw a video on facebook of a man that was getting beat up i mean so the man they get leak from all directions black in a head when me saying they get beat in all direction, me mean saying they get beat in all directions. The man they get licking on head with buckle. In they get half a block. In they get chopped out of the ceiling when did in a, a bug of things did it happen to him. And they say it happened in Westmoreland. I won't insert clips because me no one didn't take down my video for violence. Um, here on YouTube. But I wanted to talk about it. And I want to go in depth about it. Now this stuff like this, I I understand both aspects. I Westmoreland people not playing. Let me just get that out the way. Westmoreland people not play. Okay, and that's why I me mean, always say West Side is the best side, and I'll always say that. King Town no have nothing for Westmoreland. Nothing. I'm mean, not here. I don't care who says differently. Okay. They said the guy was trying to rob a, a gas station and they caught him and they caught him in the ceiling of a building and then chop him out, throw half a black lick him out, all sorts of stuff. I understand both aspects. I feel like to a certain extent what they did, they beat him to death. They literally beat this boy or this man to death, death. and I can understand why they did it. And the reason why I can understand why they did it is because people that steal end up becoming hardened crimes. Or if somebody see them stealing, they want to kill a per kill the person that sees them stealing. And also, you can't be stealing in the same neighborhood that you live. Like. People are going to know. It's not that hard. Jamaican people are not stupid. Like, they are going to know that it's you that's stealing. And I can understand why they beat him to death. Because we can't just wait on other people to come into our to come into our country and help us with crime and violence. We have to do something as people. We have to do something as a community and i understand why they did it because i was living in a community where if you're thief nothing if you're lick down nobody with your car if you're a taxi man or a bike man if you rob anything if you rape anyone straight dead no questions asked straight dead i uh, ask anybody about south side they, they said them the man them will live a south side love use my shit some people always say but whatever the way I was one and love use my shit as a matter of fact. I understand why they did it. They're trying to preserve their community. They're trying to protect their families. Like there's no way you can have people that are that's stealing from you and living in the same area as you also. That one didn't make no sense. No sense. And vigilante justice is just as effective as any other justice um system basically because them get it done right then and there and they don't have to ask anybody any questions so i understand that part i understand why they did it i understand i understand that they're trying to save their community they're trying to keep their community safe and they can't wait on other people to take care of issues because most of the time the police in Jamaica or the justice system in Jamaica does not do them justice. Then God jail come back, then turn worse a criminal. So I understand that aspect. But I also understand the other aspects of this. And the way that they did him, 
the way that they killed him was unhuman like like they did him like he was an animal that did something wrong and then just beat the animal to death basically and quite honestly quite frankly i'm torn with, with this situation because why they they killed them and i also know that we need to not take up the justice system in our hands to a certain extent but i'm very torn i'm very torn with this whole situation because on one hand i understand why they're doing it and on the other hand i feel sorry for the person that died because me know so they are somebody pit me too me know so they are somebody father too me know so they are somebody uncle too somebody stepfather some they're 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 human he's a human being so I'm very torn with this situation as far as what is my defi definitive position on this situation. I don't have a definite definitive position. I feel sorry for the pe his family that's going to have to bury him and know that that's how he died and all that. And I also feel bad for the side that had to kill him because I know that they were trying to keep their community safe. They were trying to actually do what they thought was right at the moment in the heat of the moment in the heat of the matter they did what they think was fitting basically so i'm very torn i'm very torn and that's my position on it comment in the comment section below and tell me what you guys think about this whole situation about them beating the man to death a westmoreland for robbing the gas station Tell me in the comments. Tell me if you think it was right that they beat him and kill him because the police have not done the job uh, Jamaica. Or did you think it was wrong? For Maybe you think they should have just beat him to a certain extent and then let the police come and get him and let him go to, through the justice system. Comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think because as far as I'm concerned, I'm torn. I don't have a definitive, definitive position on this matter. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl here on YouTube. I'm up out of here, man.